Welcome back, it's Wellness Wednesday, and today we are going to talk about a little bit of women's health. Maybe helpful for men to understand as well, but specifically targeting women. I am Dr. Kashidi Long, your lifestyle medicine and internal medicine physician. Let's get into it. Let's talk hysterectomies. Do you know if you've had a total or partial hysterectomy? The reason this is important is because if you had a total hysterectomy, you unless you had it for cancer reasons, you don't have to continue to get pap smears. If you had a partial hysterectomy, you do need to get pap smears. So what is the difference? A total hysterectomy means they took out your entire uterus, including your cervix. You may or may not still have fallopian tubes and ovaries. That is not necessarily included in a hysterectomy unless they tell you that they included it. So a partial hysterectomy means that they took out your uterus, but they cut above your cervix. So you still have a cervix. The re and that means you do need to get a pap smear because a pap smear is a screening test for cervical cancer. And so it's very important to know the difference. And I find that a lot of people do not, either they forgot or they just, it wasn't explained to them fully at the time of the surgery. Recently had someone tell me that they had a uterus and then two minutes later tell me that they had a hysterectomy. So it's very important to read over your paperwork, ask your OBGYN to explain if you don't understand, or they can even draw you a picture like what I'm about to show you. Now let's keep in mind that I am not a artist. This is just my quick drawing of what a uterus looks like, okay? So if you have a total hysterectomy, that means they took out this entire area right here, okay? If you have a partial hysterectomy, that means that somewhere around here, on up was taken out and you still have your cervix which is down here now the reason for doing a total versus partial you have to discuss with your OBGYN um, I think totals are more common now to just go ahead and get rid of that cervical cancer risk but once again that is OBGYN specific so discuss that with them I just want to really emphasize that there is the difference between total and partial. A lot of people will tell me they had a total hysterectomy and they are talking about all of this and they don't really know if this part, the cervix is still present. And then people will say, oh, I had a partial hysterectomy and they're saying partial because one of their ovaries or both of their ovaries were left in, but they don't know whether the cervix is there. And so total means this right here. Partial means this right here, okay? If they take out the fallopian tubes, that's called a salpingectomy. If they take out the ovaries, that is a oophorectomy. Hysterectomy can be plus or minus the salpingectomy and oophorectomy. All right? So that is my somewhat brief explanation of the difference between a total and a partial hysterectomy. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and stay tuned for our next Wellness Wednesday.